Hello, my name is David Acavino, and I'm in the Web Design and Development Program, and this is my presentation for database structures. In database structures, we covered relational databases using MySQL and SQL Pro. Non-relational databases were briefly mentioned early in the course, so I've decided to touch on this topic for my discussion. As I already stated, we covered SQL throughout our course, which is a relational database. Relational databases are the industry standard right now and operate on a system that stores information in tables, allowing you to query and gather data for reports. But what happens if you're dealing with such a massive amount of data that a relational database won't cut it? Enter NoSQL. NoSQL, or NoSQL, stands for Not Only SQL. NoSQL is still a database, however, it's what is considered a non-relational database. If your head is spinning, don't feel too bad. When I first started researching this, mine was too. Non-relational databases are becoming more popular among social media sites and e-commerce sites, as its less structured system allows it to store massive amounts of data. According to an article written by Brad Fowler, Joy Godden, and Margaret Getty written in 2016, Websites such as Facebook and Amazon have switched to NoSQL because of the ability to process data faster than a traditional relational database. A great example of this would be your Facebook profile. If you enter all of your interests or your user info, congratulations, you've entered your information into a non-relational database. In this article, they go on to explain how important it is to learn NoSQL as an aspiring web developer to stay up to date with technology. So what should you take away from this? I think that whether you are going into web development or mobile development, it's important to understand the use of both relational and non-relational databases. Having this knowledge will allow you to build your resume quicker and achieve everything that you're working so hard to accomplish. Thank you.